So the next is bidentate ligands. Bidentate ligands are those which have two donor atoms which can donate to the metal atom at the same time. So the first example of a bidentate ligand is acetyl acetonato. So acetyl acetonato is formed from acetyl acetonate. When acetyl acetone undergoes a keto enol tautomerism, it forms this compound. If I take a base with this compound and the base abstracts this hydrogen, then I get acetyl acetonato. Now these two oxygen atoms are used for the binding with metal atom, thereby it is bidentate. So upon binding, it looks like something like this. So acetyl acetonato in short form it is written as AC AC. The next ligand that we have is oxalato. So oxalato is formed by oxalate. This is oxalate and if the base abstracts a proton that is minus H positive we get oxalato. And in oxalato, the oxygen which has the negative charge is used for binding to the metal. So as you can see, there are two oxygens and both of them have negative charge. So both of these oxygens can be used for binding to the metal at the same time, thereby giving oxalate the bidentate status. And oxalate is written in abbreviated form as OX, ox. So the next bidentate ligand is glycinato. So glycinato is formed by glycine. Now glycine is an amino acid so upon abstraction of a proton from the carboxylic acid part we get glycinato. Both the oxygen which has the negative charge as well as the nitrogen which has the lone pair, they can donate to the metal atom. So both of these oxygen as well as nitrogen will bind at the same time to the metal atom, thereby it is a bidentate ligand. And glycinato in its abbreviated form it is known as GLY.